you guys first. You guys are all awesome. I appreciate your support. You're all pretty pretty cool people. You guys are going to help us get through all this, everything here. Good days and bad days. So um, we've got lots of boxes and one package and some notes and no questions tonight. So uh, I think this one must have went through of course, the Defiance um, Post Office, because I bet you this is from Edna, or Gemini. She's got Hi Jackie written on here. And this one's from the Amazon in Arizona. Some of these boxes are really heavy. Ooh. Aha. Um, and is Severin on? Severin should be my secretary. Severn, Severn. Well, I see Connie's on. Connie, maybe you could write down if people... 
Okay, yeah, Jobo, Jobo said that there'll be a box from her from Amazon the first week of November, and maybe this one is it. Um, but it's, uh, oh, it's, where is it? It's uh, Bonito Flakes, which we used up one yesterday, I think it was. And a uh, box of 24. Crispy Fillets. These are the prime meaty, meaty <laughs> flavors. Oh, well, they got pictures of cows and chickens on these now. And we know they like that one. And then Bella's got another package of the of the pill pockets. So um, we'll keep track and see if there's any other notes. But this this is the one that that might be from from Jobo. So, but we have to keep track. You guys have to help me with that. And this is another Amazon. This the bottom three here are the real heavy ones. And I bet you this one's gonna be food. Yes, sirree. Oh, you guys are so clumsy today. I'm gonna start putting that down there because I step oh, look at this. Another bonito. Can you see if that Oh, this is my vet. Hang on, please. Hi, Dr. Darcy. there's a, a paper in this one, we might end up with a, another situation where we don't have very many names. I'm, I'm rooting, but I don't see anything. Okay, well, let's just open and then we'll kind of go from there. And maybe um, Connie can, Connie, you can appoint yourself as the person that's going to help me figure out if anybody claims these and then get back with me afterwards and let me know. Um, this is Gerber chicken. We got a whole piece of that here, and we were getting low on that, so that will help us out a lot. And this is awesome, too, because our frisky size, we were starting to get a little low down on these, so this will help us. This is a, a 24 pack. You know what? I got to write this down, too. Um, So I'm assuming these are all chicken, oh, it's chicken, turkey, and beef, another 24. So this is three, three um, cases we've gotten, and a case of the grilled fancy feast, which, is that one in there? There it is, chicken feast and gravy. I will tell Magenta because that one is her favorite. And then the, another Bonito flake, and since we ran out, I'm going to go ahead and put one in the fridge. Or we didn't run out, but we ran out in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. and one, okay, we'll use them. And then this one, i got to see this one because it's got a totally different. This is lamb and rice in gravy bits. And this is the one that um, Cutter ate last week when we opened one up. I think he likes the rice. Oh, yes. 
Oh, this is from Jill R. 27. Jill, Jill R. 27. Thank you. We got, we got a name for this one. Thank you, Jill R. That was a lot. That was three cases of um, fillets, one case of baby food, and the bonito flakes. Thank you. You got all their favorites. Thank you, thank you. I think we'll wait on that one. Let's do these big, big heavy ones. And I kind of shook this one when I saw it in the back room. I had to give it a, a nudge. Yes. There you go. There you go, Happy. Oh, <laughs> I bet it does. Oh. This says, Hi, Kitty. Oh, I know who this is from. Hi, kitties. Hope you are all well. Congratulations on your new floor. My mom said because the floor costs so much, you might need some help with paying for food. So I am a helpful cat. And this is, of course, love Sabrina T. Cat. She took her plastic thing and thought I'd help cause... Oh, wait a minute. Took her plastic thing and thought I'd help because I'm Sabrina T. Cat. Aw, Sabrina, you're about one of the smartest kitties in the whole wide world. She sent, oh, the beef and gravy with bits. That's one case. And, wow, we got, I think we have two more cases in here. Sabrina, you need to bring your mama here. Got another case of the pate. That's cool. We haven't gotten the pate for a little bit. And another one of the Friskies turkey and giblets. So, Sabrina, thank you. And uh, thank your mom, Camp and Cat, too, for that. We love it. I think you guys need to come and visit us. Okay. Here's a box, kitties. There's a box. And then we got another one down here. This is another heavy one, so I'm just going to open it down here. Ooh. This looks very interesting. Wow, you guys are helping us restock all of our friskies. Look. Well, this one is from Sabrina, too. We got another case. So that's four cases. Four, five cases, and they're all different. This one is uh, beef and gravy. And... Salmon and beef. Oh, salmon and beef. This is the one magenta light. Let me make sure. I'm so sorry. That's not the... Who is that? It's my oh. Oh, I thought you were... Dr. Darcy again. Hang on, please. I'm so sorry. Uh, we got a case... Oh, we haven't gotten this one for a while. It's the ocean fish and tuna. And last but definitely not least, because this is what the kitties will like. Wow, there must be a whole, whole bunch of temptations. Sabrina, I think you need to come and help the kitties. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 bags of it. Cool. Thank you, Sabrina and Canton. I think Sabrina had a little help from her mama. Hi, Zelda. Don't need to lay him down there. This one you get. Can you get it? Kurt's over here helping me. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm never kidding when I'm asking you guys to come for a visit. I would love it. Okay, we gotta gotta do this one. This one's from the Amazon from Kentucky. So I know for sure there's a there's a Amazon send out place in Kentucky, Indiana and Arizona and we have another paper. This is, it says, Hi Jackie, for Putter and Friends, regards Elaine and Willis, that's Quayside. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. This is definitely a Putter tree. Whoops. I think 
is starting to need a new blade again, Kurt. Oh, yeah. A piece of this. This is definitely a putter treat. That's chicken and cheese. <laughs> this one. Chicken and cheese. Yeah. Putter will be smiling ear to ear. He's sitting down here or he's sitting in the doorway um, so he can smack the babies when they go by him. Uh, thank you so much, Quayside. I'm going to put a couple of those two in there. You know, I'm always amazed because I used to, a long time ago, buy those in the store and they're hard. The, the little treaties are hard. These, you can tell, are really fresh. They're, they're so soft. And... I'm going to save that cute one for last. Oh, this one is from Annette S. from Ohio. And I know I know her name. There we go. Yes, Annette S. from Campbell, Ohio. Whoops, I guess I better... This looks interesting. Put this back here. Oops. We'll pop the note. We like notes. Aww. It says, Hi, Jackie and volunteers. I found these on sale at Walmart. Hope these are good for the kitties at times. Glad to see Queen Bella is out and about. I saw her sleeping with Emmeline in the monkey bed one night. So cute. When she got up, I also noticed she was using her la la lame leg quite a bit. Yay, I'm also so happy she is using the red marshmallow bed I sent. Better use, better use than at my house for sure. And right here, this is um, Annette's classy cat. Yep, they use it all right. Hi, that one is, I think that's Claudius. Say hi. Claudius was mortified this morning. I told him he had to have surgery on Saturday. What? Oh my goodness. So classy cat. Thank you. Let's see what you got here. Definitely, definitely good food here. This is mine and it's a healthy natural. Um, the weight control, we definitely need that here for a lot of these cats. And this is also another adult one. So when we get food in like this, we mix it all together. And um, boy. I appreciate it, Classy Cat, very, very much, and your wonderful letter. I think this must be your kitty, I'm betting. Isn't that cute? Pretty. Very nice looking kitty. Can you get it? Thanks, Classy Cat. I appreciate that very, very much. We'll, we'll add that to our supply over there. Greg and um, Judy E. that's here on Wednesday, they're the ones that usually uh, does all the mixing. This is from Callie201, two, and Callie's from Georgia. And, wow, let me see how we get in here. I think right here. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a whole bunch of smiley faces on here. And happy face um, snowflakes also. So many places got snow last week. And I know um, Sarah Sarah's from Georgia also. Oh. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this than what I'm doing it. Please press firmly. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not here, Farah. Will you hide the leaves? You're in charge of those. Don't let anybody get close. Oh, wow. Um, we just had a crazy day here today, so we didn't get to mix up the candy, which is a good thing, because we'll mix them up. And these chocolate sticks, I don't know if any of you guys have had these or not. These are awesome. We haven't had these in a long, long time. Cool. I'm not going to have to 
by, oh, there's some, oh, these are peanut butter bars. You can tell, my first, my first thing I like is, is sweet. What's this one? Oh, darn, it's a treat for the cats, okay. I guess they can have their treats. We'll mix all that up tomorrow. we got to get that done. Oh, let's see what she sent in here. So this is, this is uh, Kelly 201. Oh, uh, let me show you. Oh, my word, that's a beautiful cat. This is, this is Patches. She's 11, 11 years old. She weighs 8 pounds. She lives in Adele, Georgia. Sister of Callie, who lives next door. And um, the owner is Paula, whose chat name is Ganani. Ganani. Beautiful cat. Beautiful. Oh my, look at this picture. This is Callie. Isn't that looks like a show picture? She's 11, 10 pounds, resides in Adele, Georgia, sister of Patches. So these two are sissies. And the owner is Pam, whose chat name is Callie. Uh, actually, yeah, you know, this box is from both, both Pam and Callie, or uh, Callie and Ganani. Oh, and look at this. Oh, my gosh, if that's not two pretty cats. Coco is about a year old at the top, lives with Paula. She came up to granddaughter's house, and they couldn't keep her, so I took her. She got pregnant, had four babies. She is now six. We kept one baby, and the others went to good homes. This is Boomer. This is the son of Coco, and he's six, too. Good, you knew I'd ask that hers all the time and is a big baby, very lovable. Boomer and Coco both have blue eyes. He is bigger than his mom. Gorgeous kitties. Oh, oh, whoa. Wow. That's a, this is a, these are wild cats. Can get close to them, but feed them every day. Oh, cannot get close to them. Feeds them every day. This is called Mama Cat. Lives at my house in backyard by husband's shop. This is the wild kitties of the mama cat. My granddaughter named them Socks and Stripes. They are about eight months. Can you see those? Isn't that, they are gorgeous cats. Are they neutered? I hope they're neutered. You know, you can light trap them. Boy, gorgeous cats. Thank you for sharing, sharing these pictures. I'll put these up on the bulletin board. I'd like to, like to do that. Yeah, yeah, you sure do. So we got some more goodies in here, too. And so this is from, I think it's Ganani and Callie. Um, Posty Notes, you guys know I use a lot of those. And, oh, look, it's, it's a notebook with kitties on it. I will definitely put that to good use. Hey, you can have that. And notebook pads. You know, every phone call that I get that is left on the answering machine, I copy every one of those down. This is exactly the kind of notebooks I use for that. And then I mark it done when I return the call. Um, I try to try to keep that organized so I can use that for that. And more posty notes. Wow, you chuck this full of stuff. Some stick notes. Whoop. Oh, hey, little, little. Yeah, <laughs> and look at these note cards. They have a big old cat on them. Yeah. Oh, and a schnauzer doggy. Yeah, I'll, we'll use all these. And a kitty, and this says, this is not my, this is my happy face. It looks like a patty on there. Oh. This says feline friends. There's two of these. We can put these underneath our food dishes. And the back side says feline friends. Those are cute. Those are the big eyed, the big eyed and big face candies. Yeah, those are be. We'll put those to good use. Wow, little box with lots and lots of stuff. And another box of um, kitty treaties. And look at these toys. Some really cool toys. Cat nip ball. I like these. The cat, the fat cat ones. 
Kitties always like that. They bite it right into those. And Pet Holidays, the first Christmas toy of the season for them. And a catnip fishy. Oh, here's another fat cat one. They've had these sometimes before. They they like them. The mm. catnip is good. And mm, they all like those too. They're catnippy. So thank you. Wow, that's a whole lot of stuff on there. Um, thank you. So it's Callie and Ganani. So thank you, thank you for all that. Wow, lots of stuff comes in a small package. This one has been bugging me all day long. Did you feel this? What do you think it is? You know, I think Kurt knows. Um, it says from DNS Office Supplies from Phoenix, Arizona. I think there's it feels like popcorn or something. Am I right? Oh. Oh no, it's, it's real squishy. Just, just. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is really embarrassing. Purchase. We what? Did you read that? Did you know this? We are committed to your satisfaction. As a small family and run business, every vote of customer confidence is sincerely appreciated. We want you to be 100% happy with your order. Your time is undoubtedly valuable. However, when you receive your order, please do take a moment to leave us feedback. If you are not satisfied, da da da, we are happy to serve you as our value com customer. If you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to send a message. Thank you, Justin. Now, how would Justin know that my favorite of candy in the world is Reese's Pieces? Another note? So how would he know? Oh, maybe so. Well, whoever sent this, you're my new best friend. <laughs> I love it. But I will share it. I promise I will share it. This is the kind we buy when we go to Sam's Club. That is too funny. Does somebody out there know who that is? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, but whoever it is, I love it. Um, where's my I have just a few, a few things to catch up on here. Um, first off, on uh, Saturday is our big, is our big um, surgery day. The list was way more than what I thought it was even going to be. Um, the girls that are, just in case you're interested, the girls that are going to uh, be spayed is Adora, Amira, Kathy. Chia, Gemini, Nebraska is on that side, Noble, Rizzo, Shasta, Wonder, CJ, Nuki's an iffy. Nuki's 114 today. She's got to gain a little bit more. Um, Don, Don, Donna, of course, is too small. Uh, Shale, Sage, Kozo, and Zoom. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 female cats. That is a big, big, big order. And then the boys that's going to get done is Claudius, Dolce, Hudson, Marble, Noogie, Picasso, Wiggles, and we, oh no, we, Weasley had Wade, but he's too small. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boys. That's 27 surgeries. That's a lot. I I hope we can get it all done. That is a whole lot of surgeries to do in one day. Um, but Dr. Cindy's awesome, and we're gonna. I already told her to put her flying shoes on. So no, we, Wiggles is not big enough. He's he is only 1.4. 
so he's way too little. We'll get him on the next one. So um, those are, that, that is the surgery list. And so Saturday morning is going to be a really crazy morning because all those kitties got to be put in a separate room so they don't eat uh, after their main breakfast so early in the morning, like at 4.30. They can't eat after that. They'll be put in another room. And then they have to all be given a cat star and um, pain meds, a 24-hour pain med to get them through the surgery in that first day. So big, big, big morning, Saturday morning. Uh, we had two adoptions today, as you probably know. Uh, Danelle and Zuby left, and they went to a lady whose first name is Jane. She's going to be a wonderful mama to these guys. Uh, she had already owned a cat that uh, was an oldster and passed away not too long ago. And she had always said that when that cat passed away, she would like to adopt two, two kitties. So it's, it's uh, Danelle and Zuby, and I think that, that was a really, really nice mix for her to pick. Um, the cats today, the temperature was gorgeous here today. It was beautiful. So the cats were out in their outdoor enclosure all day um, today. Uh, and you know, I just am seeing Emmeline by my, my back door here going to the house, which reminds me, Bella was in the house today, just as happy as a lark, just scooting all over. She was very happy. KW, I think I mentioned last night that I was going to take his collar off. I did this morning, first thing as soon as I checked him. Big old mark open again. I think he's doing it on purpose. I'm beginning to think he's doing it on purpose. I don't know why. He wants to stay here maybe. He likes his collar maybe. I'm not sure. One big old and it's open again. So back on the collar it goes. Um, got me. It's a mystery. Our bean bait chair that we got that the kitties love so much. Um, the big gray one with the paw point prints on it. You know Bella loves that. Oh, we had somebody was naughty this morning. I don't know who it was, but somebody peed on it. Bad, bad, bad kitty. Um, somebody peed on it. Oh, Cutter's down here. He's staring at me like he knows who it is, but he's not telling. So we ended up um, taking all the stuffing out of it, washing the inner liner and the cool material one. And then today I went and got styrofoam, put it, it, the teeny tiny balls, put it in a plastic bag, and that's what's inside there now. So if that would happen, you know those are accidents, um, that we can get it washed again and not not uh, lose the insides again. We also have another kitty that's on hold now. Uh, you know, I, I've told you before, October was is and always has been a very slow month for adoption. We only had 10 for the whole month of October. That is... That's very average for us. That's what I've, I've checked before. Most of them are 9, 10, 11, and 12 um, adoptions for the month of October. So we were right in there where we always are. <clears throat> November, December, January, February, it starts going up again. So Rezo is on hold. We had a young lady come this morning that was married in September. She moved to Ohio to live with her husband. And she left at her home where her mom and dad is, her hamster, a cat, and a dog. And they're, you know, it was a family pet, uh, pet. So she left them with her parents, and um, she misses a pet. So her and her husband came back tonight, and they picked out Rizzo. They had a hard time. They, they liked all of them, but Rizzo's the one. We got a, you might have heard some of the hubbub going on. Uh, this late afternoon, we got a new kitty and this uh, young lady brought in uh, this uh, brown tiger in a box and uh, said that her dad had turned on the motor to, I would assume it's an older car, you know how kitties crawl up into the engine to keep warm. Most of the newer cars, the way I understand it, the fan belts don't hurt the cats anymore like they used to all the time, but I'm guessing that this was an older car. Anyhow, it it um it's uh back which leg is that the um rear left leg and it's uh the ankle of the cat is completely gone it's uh um wide open so it's a it's an obvious amputation i guess is what i'm trying to say so got the kitty on antibiotics and definitely two kinds of pain meds this thing looks really ugly already called Dr. Darcy's there and Dr. Pettigrew's office 
and they're gracious enough uh, going to take this little kitty in tomorrow. Pam is wonderful. She's going to drive the kitty up for me and uh, have this little boy, it's a boy, <coughs> kitty up at Dr. Pettigrew's office at 11 tomorrow. It'll be done in the afternoon. We will pick it up tomorrow. We don't leave them there overnight. They always are kind enough to let us get them on the very same day. So um, we'll, we'll get this little kitty back. Don't have a name for it yet. Um, it's in a lot of pain, but the pain meds will catch up with it, and I'll get up during the night to continue giving the pain meds to it. Um, so we'll know more tomorrow, and I'll keep you guys posted. And I'll, I'll call in the afternoon to keep up on when the surgery is and how it's going. Since it is a ankle and not a knee, she's probably going to be able to leave the femur on. And sometimes that's better, at least a little more cushy rather than like what Bella's had to deal with. So um, I think he's going to be fine. He's a real nice little kid. He's putting up with a lot of problems with this poor leg, um, but he's, he's trying to be real brave. I can just tell he's trying to be real brave. Uh, that's all I have other than... Um, I do want to mention about Shalann. I'm, I'm sure most of you already know. And uh, by reading the Facebook, and I chatted with some of you earlier today, that we did lose Shalann last night about midnight. Uh, I had her in the house with me in the evening, and she settled down, but she definitely was going downhill. And she passed away, like I said, around midnight. Um, so I'm not going to go into any more detail. I, I put a, a message on the blog about her. Uh, you guys are just awesome. I just have to tell you all, the support you guys give for this whole rescue center, but to me personally, is uh, huge. Uh, some days are just really, really rough, and some days are, most days, all days are always awesome here. And I just emailed someone a thank you note. And I said, you know, some days really are rough, but every day um, <clears throat> holds joy and laughter here. And I mean that with all sincerity. We know getting into something like what we do here, that we're going to have sad days and sad things happen. It's inevitable. It, it, we, we see the good and the bad of things that happen. And um, so... Even though awful, sad things do happen here, uh, we always keep that outlook that the next one needs us and we have to get back on board and uh, get back in gear and start working again on another one. And just like tonight, now this new little one has come in for us. Uh, but we have a lot of kitties in here, a lot of cats. We deal with so many different things and we love them all with a passion and just want to give them the best care that we can. I, I think it... It's, I feel bad for you guys, too, because you guys are out there, and you don't get that physicalness that we get with all these kitties. And, and I know that's hard for a lot of you to deal with the deaths that do happen here. And I remember when we first started the webcam, and we had uh, probably the first kitty that passed away at, uh, once we had started the webcam. And... Um, I felt like I needed to shelter people from that, and I try, I do try to shelter some, but you guys are so now a part of what we do here that it's important for me to share things with you. But I had one person one time say that they couldn't watch a uh, rescue because bad things happen, and you cannot deal with what we do here without sad things happening. And so your heart just has to be able to hold hold that 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 part that when deaths happen and that, but know that there's always many, many, many good days ahead. And so um, it is hard and it is it is sad, but we get through it and you guys are just absolutely superb and there's you guys just offer me the support that I need and I just want you guys to know that I appreciate that. So thank you. Um, I'm going to call it early tonight and go in. Pam's here. I'm going to go in and scoop and put things away. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys do for us. So I'll keep you up um, updated tomorrow on our new little boy that's here. And I did test him. By the way, he is negative, so that's good. And uh, we'll keep you posted on everything. So thank you, and uh, have a good evening to everyone.
you guys doing down there? Huh? Got a little sick real fast. Just a, a lot of crying yesterday and last night. 